Hi, in this video, we will learn a concept morph animation called going to the moon. On a click, we show the first stage, which is the launch stage. Then on a click, we show the second stage where the rocket goes to the clouds. Here is the explanation for that stage. Then on a click, it goes to the stars. And this is the stage three explanation. And finally, it reaches its destination, which is the moon. And here is our explanation for stage four. This animation is fairly simple, though it looks complex. Of course, you need a version that allows you to have morph transition. Morph transition, remember, is not available in all versions of PowerPoint. I use Office 365 where morph transition is available. So make sure that you have this option available for you to follow along with this tutorial. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. For the first stage, I already created a video tutorial that shows you how to create this animation. If you have not watched that tutorial, I will leave a link to that in the iCard here. So I recommend that you watch that video first so we can create stage one quite easily. So I'm going to assume that you've already seen the tutorial and know how to come till this level. All I've done is I have just changed this text. I've used the text box from AutoShapes Gallery to write this title here, which is stage one, and then this sample text. And then I ensured that these two are given a simple wipe animation. Can you see here, wipe from left? So on a click, we have this rocket coming in from underneath and goes through the laptop and comes out and we have the text shown. So this is how the animation looks. Now let us go to stage two. Let us right click duplicate slide. What happens in stage two? This rocket goes to clouds. So how do we do that? Let us select all the elements by pressing control A and deselect some of the elements. Like for example, we don't want this rocket to be selected. So let us hold the shift button down and click on the rocket. So it is deselected and then click on these text elements. So they are deselected. Now the rest of the elements need to be pushed down. So let us zoom out a little bit and then use the arrow key on your keyboard to push them all down like so. So you are able to have a clean looking slide area. Now I go to transitions and add a simple morph transition to this. Then let us go to animations, go to animation pane. Now there is animation attached to this rocket earlier. So we are going to remove that. And these two animations which represent the text here remain, but this happens with previous. Now we're going to change this to stage two. Now let us go to slide one and go to slideshow and see how the animation plays. We introduce our rocket and the text. Then on a click, you can see that the rocket is moving through to a clear space and we have stage two shown here. Now we need something here in the white space so this slide doesn't look too blank. So we are going to add some clouds showing that our launch has reached the next level of clouds. So I naturally went to pixabay.com searched for cloud and I found this one to be the right one. I went to free download and chose vector graphic and downloaded it. Let me go to the downloads folder and here is the cloud. Let me right click copy it and let us go to our slide and let us place this over here. So this is the cloud. Let me readjust the size like so. And then let me place another instance here, right click and send this to back and maybe something over here. So it goes through the clouds, but still I want it to be sent to back and maybe somewhere over here. I can always change the size a little bit and then I can flip it horizontally so nothing looks unnatural. So let us go here and say flip horizontal. So we have different sized clouds placed somewhere all along the slide. Now this is what we are going to have in stage two. Let me bring this rocket to the front. Now the rule about morph transition is if you want something to appear on one slide, you need to do the preparatory groundwork in the initial slide itself. So in this case, if I want this slide to appear, I want them to be there on the first slide itself, but out of the slide area. Let me show you what I mean. Let me select all of these. Press Ctrl C. 
go to the first slide and press control V. So they are there on the slide, but I'm going to move them out of the slide area. So let me use my up arrow key in the keyboard. Can you see here? They are out of the slide area. So when I go to slideshow, you can see that it is still there, but I cannot see it. So in the next slide, they naturally come to the slide area. So that is how the whole game works. Now let us see how the animation plays. Let me go to the first slide and go to slideshow. On a click, we introduce this, of course. And then this is going through the clouds and we have our stage two shown. Beautiful. Now we need stage three. So what happens in stage three? It reaches the star level. So let us go to right click and duplicate the slide. In this stage, we don't need the clouds. So let us select this and delete. And we want to have stars. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From stars and banners, let us select this star. Of course, you can choose any kind of star. Let me hold the shift button down and draw a star like this. Go to shape fill black color, shape outline, no outline. Let me press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and I'm going to place it over here. Let us select both of them, press Ctrl D and then place them over here. Select all of them, press Ctrl D. So these are all the ways by which I can really make them appear very easily. So this is stage three. So let us go here and say stage three. And just for good order's sake, let us rotate this slightly. So there is a bit of drama here. And then the rule about morph, as I said, is if you want something to be on one slide, the same thing should have been there on the previous slide. So what we're going to do is we are going to select all these stars while holding the shift button down, press control C to copy, go to the previous slide, press control V to paste, but we are going to take that out of the scene by using our up arrow key. We are going to move it away from the slide area. Now this slide, since anyway we have just duplicated, will have its morph transition. So we don't really need to worry about that. And of course, this bit here underneath is not even required. So let me delete it. Let us see what happens from our stage two. Let me go here. This is our stage two. It has already reached till this. Then on a click, we have the rocket moving and we have all these stars appear and stage three is shown. Now let us go to the final stage. Right click, duplicate this slide. Here we don't want any of these stars. It has to be one big moon where we are reaching. So let us select all of this, delete, go to stage four. Let me go to pixabay.com and search for moon. And this is a vector graphic. Let me download it by going to free download and use vector graphic. It can be even PNG, doesn't really matter. Let me say download and it goes beautifully onto my downloads folder. Go to show in folder here. Let me copy and then come back to my slide. Paste, right click and send this to back and let us move this somewhere over here. Now, if you feel that it might be quite nice to have these stars around, it's okay. You can of course have some of these stars copied and pasted onto this as well. And you can, of course, spread them around here and there. So we are creating a very different scenario here. Let us hold the control button down and create some more of these stars here and there. Here, moon is there on this slide. So we naturally need this moon to be on the previous slide as well. So go to copy, go to the previous slide, press control V, use our up arrow key to move it out of the slide area. Now this already has more transition because it is nothing but a duplicate of the previous slide. So let us go to the first slide and see how the whole transition works. On a click, we introduce stage one and then we have it going through the clouds for stage two and then it goes into the stars and it is stage three and then it goes to the moon. Wow, that is a problem. And that is, you can see that this moon needs to be brought to the front and that is the mistake we did, which of course we will correct by right clicking and using bring to front option. And now let us go to the previous one, go to slideshow and this is the scene. On a click, you can see that the transition is pretty beautiful and stage four is shown. Now, of course, I'm going to make sure that all these elements are brought in. These are some small minor adjustments to ensure that everything is smooth. Go to stage one. Let us see everything from the beginning. On a click, we have stage one. Then on a click, it goes to the cloud and it is stage two. And then on a click, it changes direction and goes to the starry nights, stage three, and then it reaches our final destination, which is stage four. So just by doing this simple exercise, you understand the various aspects of morph transition 
and what you need to do on one slide and how do you need to set it up on the previous slide, etc. So I highly recommend that you follow this tutorial along with me by watching this video again and you will really learn a lot about Morph Transition and I can definitely guarantee you that. Now, if you want to take the same idea to the next level and you want to learn another useful tutorial which shows you how Morph works, then you can watch this video here called PowerPoint Morph Text Animation Trick. This tutorial will definitely up the level of your PowerPoint Morph skills. I will leave a link to this tutorial in the description box below the video. You will also find the link to this video right here on your screen right now. You can click on the video, watch the tutorial and learn PowerPoint Morph and impress your colleagues and bosses. I'll see you in that tutorial.